Hi and good morning. I want to take just a couple of minutes of your time to inspire you today to continue to live in strong faith because that's the season that we're in right now. Uh, we had a really strong prayer meeting last night via Zoom. We're conscious of constant changes that are being made and the uh, with regard to you know the the restrictions, the COVID-19 situation, and, and I guess really now more than COVID-19 itself, the, the decisions that uh, the governments around the world are making in regard to that and the impact that it has on people's world. It is a time for strong faith. Now in Hebrews 11, that great chapter, that will inspire you if you read that again and just see the example of those the, uh, that have lived by faith and the power that faith uh, has and how it changes things. But I want to take this little moment with you to remind you of two thoughts that occur at the very end of chapter 10 prior to that great passage. First of all, uh, the writer says, don't cast away your confidence. And the word confidence and the word faith are connected. Uh, one Greek word is sometimes translated one or the other, actually. And so faith does give you confidence. Faith is an inward assurance. When you have faith, when you're living by faith, you have a confidence as you look to the future. And it's no, it takes no genius to tell you that one of the th key things that Satan will try and do is steal away your confidence. Try and get you to back down. Try and, and, and so when you're feeling like that, and I feel like I'm speaking to people today, and it's like, you know, my, my confidence has taken a hit. My sense of moving forward with assurance and with victory in my heart is less convincing, less strong than it was. Then it's, you bet. It's your faith that is under assault. And that's one of the things that Satan will always drive at. So you've got to not throw away your confidence. And when, when the word says that, it means that you can throw it away. You can let it drip out. You can let it go. You can get to a stage where it once was strong, but now it's not so strong. Today's a day to renew the strength of, of your confidence, to know this, that the Bible says God is the confidence of the ends of the earth. God is a great giver of confidence. God sees the beginning from and the end from the beginning. There is nothing that will stand in the way of God's plans and God's purposes and nothing that can assail you and take you out of God's plan and purpose for your life if you will hold on to your confidence. So hold strong. See you tomorrow.